All right, my dear students, uh, the topic for today is PLCA Purchase Ledger Control Account. And this is the account for all of the suppliers combined. And for this question, question number one, we have already learned how to make a debtor's ledger control account. That is trade receivables control account. Let us learn how to make a creditor's ledger control account. That is trade payable control account, trade payables ledger control account. From the following figures compiled debtor ledger, we have already learned how to make that. And then secondly, creditors ledger control account. We need to make the suppliers account for the month. We can make the control account for a month or maybe a quarter or maybe six months. And for the maximum, it could be for one year duration. And ascertain what the net balance of the respective ledger should be on 31st January. In this question, as you can see, 1st January is opening and 31st January is closing. This means we are only supposed to make a control account for one month only. Now we are supposed to make better control account for purchase ledger control account, also known as trade payable ledger control account. So opening balances are there. As you can see in creators ledger on 1st January, if it's 1st January better, this means uh, this is opening balance. As we can see better, there are two opening balances. One is the debit balance and another one is credit balance. So if it's the debit balance better, it would goes on the debit side. And if it's a credit balance, it must go on the credit side. So better the normal balance between these two is the credit balance. Why? Because liability is usually credit in nature. And if it's a debit balance, this means it's an abnormal or minority balance. This means that while we have to pay our suppliers this much amount so there were one or two of the suppliers whom we have paid extra so the extra amount that we have paid our suppliers now those suppliers owe us and uh, not it's not the other way around okay so the suppliers are owing us therefore it's an asset for the business it's a receivable therefore it's coming on the debit side now let us see which of the transactions at the month and we are supposed to write First of all, beta, it's the purchase. So if the examiner doesn't mention it, uh, if it's a credit purchase or it's a cash purchase, we would always assume that it's a credit purchase unless otherwise stated by the examiner. So it's a purchase balance. Now the entry that needs to be made is purchase would be debited and liability account would be credited. So basically this is not the purchase account, beta. this is the account for trade payables. So the purchase account will be debited and liability account needs to be credited. So the, the total of this purchase, uh, where would we get this balance from? We would be getting this balance from uh, purchase journal, okay, purchase day book, also known as purchase day book. Uh, then uh, beta only credit purchase comes here in the PLC account and not the cash purchase or, purch uh, or purchase through checks. Okay, purchase on cash or purchase on checks are never recorded here. Uh, only the purchases that we have done on credit and the payment that we are uh, giving to our credit suppliers would come here. Okay, only the credit transactions go here and not the cash transactions. So if the examiner is not mentioning anything, this means all the purchases on credit and so is the purchase return. Okay, only the credit purchase return should come here in the control account. And the cash purchase return would not come here. Okay, cash refund from suppliers uh, would not come here. So purchase return is 2154. Now the entry for purchase return would be purchase return going to be credited and liability is going to be debited. Okay, so we can also write return outward, but the examiner prefers purchase return. Therefore, I'm not, not writing return outward. Instead, I'm going to write purchase return. So purchase return and purchases and sales and sale return. Okay, instead of return inward or outward, let's write purchase and purchase return. So then after purchase return, it's contra settlement data account settled by contra with creditors. So we have already discussed what a contra transaction in control accounts mean. In control account, but a contra transaction means when one of the party would becomes our customer as well as our suppliers. So they are also supposed to pay us and we are also supposed to pay them. So instead of both paying each other, we would cancel out the entry. So PLC account would be debited 
with the reference of contra SLCA and we made a SLC account in the previous class and SLCA was being debited with the reference of contra PLC. Now then we have bad debts, uh, bad debt or irrecoverable debt would go in a debtor's ledger or sales ledger control account and not the purchase ledger control account. Because people fail to pay us, we normally do not uh, fail to pay to our suppliers. Okay, So we would never be a bad debt for someone else. Instead, some other customers are going to be bad debt for us. So discount allowed to customers. Uh, we are not making customers account right now. We are making suppliers account. Cash received from customers would also go in a debtor account and not the creditor account. Uh, it's not necessary that all of the information that is given in the question must be used. Sometimes some information that is irrelevant is also given here. So discount received. With a discount received decreases the liability. So the entry would be PLCA would be debited and discount receive is going to be created. So this is a cash discount basically. Then we have cash paid to creditor. So if the examiner doesn't mention this cash and if the examiner just says payment to supplier. So we are going to write bank and not cash. But the examiner is explicitly writing cash paid. So then we can use the cash account. So the entry would be better cash account would be created and PLCA liability account would be debited. Okay, PLC is going to be debited and with reference to cash. Then we have cash paid to customers. So we are not making customers account right now. So therefore, this transaction would go in a sales ledger control account. Now, better we need to balance this control account. And one thing that was missing is the closing balance. As we can see in the requirement, it is already mentioned that we need to prepare the debtor and creditor ledger control account and ascertain we need to find out what the net balance of the respective ledger should be. So we need to find the better net balance that is closing balance. So we need to add up both of the sides better the bigger side would goes on both of the sides and the shorter side would be balance CD. Okay, so how can we find this balance CD better the bigger balance is 101939. We would uh, uh, subtract all of these transactions from the bigger side in order to find this balance CD. Okay. Now, better this balance carried down would become balance brought down at the start of next period. Balance BD. And this, uh, there is only uh, one balance at the end of the month. That is the normal balance. Okay. And we cannot find two balance CDs. If normal balance is given, we can find the minority balance if there is any. And if minority balance is given, we can find the normal balance and we cannot find two balances. If there is only one balance, then it's obvious that normal balance is important and minority balance is not important. So there can be a scenario that balance CD is already given and the missing thing is purchases and the examiner mentions in the requirement to kindly find this purchase amount. So we must know that purchase uh, is something that increases the liability. So if balance CD is already given that the bigger side would be debit side. And if we need to write this bigger side on both of the sides and if we deduct balance brought down from this bigger side total, then we can easily find this purchase. So anything can be uh, uh, skipped by the examiner and this the missing value needs to be found by the student. Okay, but uh, this is how we make purchase ledger control account.